And we are live with Lunch Break Live. Chef Susan Pratt, what are you making today? I'm making a beautiful falafel tart. This is the base, and I'm going to show you how to make the base and fill it with a creamy vegan tzatziki and some beautiful decorations. This dish looks like it will take you hours to make, and it doesn't. It takes like 10 minutes. It's going to wow your guests, and it's delicious. So let's, let's get, get started. <laughs> Amazing. All right, everybody, welcome to Lunch Break Live. Take it away. All right. So we need a food processor. Um, first, we're going to put three cups of chickpeas into the food processor. Um, these are already cooked. If they're canned, you want to rinse and um, drain and rinse, but don't throw out that aguafaba. That is magical stuff. If you want, go to my blog, susancooksvegan.com, and I make lots of recipes with this aguafaba, so keep it. Um, then we're gonna add two, half a cup of chopped onion to this. So basically we're making a falafel, like just like you would have in a restaurant. Um, so this is garlic, uh, four, four cloves of chopped garlic. Um, but the difference is, is that this is gonna be baked and it's gonna be in a beautiful tart form. Normally, you know, as vegans, we go to um, the fast food places or we make them ourselves, those, those falafel, you know, kind of meatball things. They get a little boring after a while for me anyways, or we, I eat them for the health benefit and they're just covered, they're just cooked in the oil. So um, it kind of loses the health benefits. This has both. It's nutritious, delicious, and has no oil because it's fake. Love it, and love it, love it. What are you putting in there? Let's go. Well, half a cup. So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm talking and moving. Um, yeah. Half a cup of chopped parsley, quarter cup of cilantro. My husband, he's so sweet. He labeled all my little things for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome yeah. our partners in life i love it take it away we're a team um that's three teaspoons of cumin one teaspoon of cardamom and again you can adjust this to your taste um you know if you're if you're new to middle eastern flavors you can try it don't omit any of these flavors because they're they're crucial to that that balance that um complexity of it but if it's new to you and you're not sure how you're gonna like it, maybe just try with a teaspoon instead of a teaspoon and a half, things like that. Then the more you eat it, the more you can add things in. You know, kind of you do you, it's your recipe. Um, this is half a teaspoon of all-purpose flour. Now, if you're gluten-free, use gluten-free flour. You can use oat flour and this dish is totally gluten-free. So we've put this all into the food processor and there going to be a dance? I think it's going to be a dance. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do this a couple times. We want this to be, um, the chickpeas to be like a sand type texture because we're going to, Push it into the tart pan, and we're going to use that as the base. So we get one more dance. And join us for the blender dance, everybody. Looking beautiful. Perfect. And you see how quick that was? No time at all. So this is going to be the base of our tart. It's this beautiful falafel. And if you have any extra, um, so I'm using this tart pan here. It's this rectangular shape. You could use little mini tart pans. You can use the large ones. Um, it's really versatile. Um, if you have any extra left over, you just make your falafel like you would. You can roll it into a ball, like a meatball shape, and just bake it in the oven. Um, this is gonna, so this is greased. You wanna grease it just so it comes out easier. I just use some olive oil. 
And Paige, can you see that there? Or um, we there? we can't see it, but we can see, maybe maybe we can scooch it a little bit closer. <laughs> Betty Ann Cornwall, while you're adjusting, she wants to know: Can you make this without cilantro? You know, she has the gene that makes the cilantro uh, taste like soap. So she's just wondering: Can you make it without the cilantro? Of course you can. Of course you can. Absolutely. Of course, of course. Maybe just add a little uh, more parsley, or just leave it out. That's absolutely no problem at all. Yes, there's people who have those genes. I have the asparagus gene. <laughs> you know which one that is. Uh. And yes, amazing. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. I want to remind you, we are here with Lunch Break Live Daily, 12.30 to 1 o'clock Pacific time. And oh, we're going to get some finger play in here. Susan's a mom. She's a chef. She's a regular on Lunch Break Live. We are so excited that you are here with us watching. We have Betty Ann Cornwall. We have Tina. Where's Tom? And we have the oh, other. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. Blender dance included. All right. Back to you. Take it away. Okay. So my hands are clean. Yes, we do get some, some finger play. And so we're just going to push this into the tart pan like so, just like you would a, a dessert tart. And we're going to make this base. And that looks pretty good. And so I'm going to put this in a preheated oven, uh, 350 degrees. Now it's going to cook for about 30 minutes. You just want to watch it different. Um, you know, everybody's ovens kind of works a little different. Make sure your rack is on the middle um, setting. But I can we bring that, um, Susan, do you mind if we bring the camera back up again? It's good time watching you. For sure. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Okay. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, a little higher, you think. Okay, there cool. Just bear with us, everybody. This yeah. is live on Jane and Shane. Woohoo! All right, take it away. All right. So I pre did one last night for you lovely people. So um, here's one I already baked. So this is what it's going to look like when it comes out of the oven. It's this lovely tart. So next we're going to make the tzatziki that's going to fill it. You could also use hummus if you wanted an extra chickpea bomb, you know, for the filling. I really like this tzatziki. Now, this is an extra creamy tzatziki because I use a mixture. I'm hoping you show us that platter. Can you show us what you got there? Oh, What's yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, so, um, shout I out to Randy for making this. <laughs> so oh, my little label. I love him. <laughs> half a block of soft tofu, half a cup of raw cashews. If you don't have a high speed blender, um, boil these in salted water, or excuse me, um, boiling water um, until they they soften up. This is half a cup of dill, um, one cup of grated cucumber. Now when you grate your cucumber, um, take it in um, a paper towel and squish all the moisture out before you put it in this bowl. Otherwise, your tzatziki will, will separate with all the moisture content. So just kind of give it a squish, or even with your hands, squish the, the moisture out. And this is um, one and a half teaspoons of powdered garlic. I just prefer it over fresh for this one. It's just my preference. You can use fresh if you like to. Um, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. I'm trying to read upside down. <laughs> Um, of lemon juice, and then some salt and pepper. So that's it, that's all that's in this tzatziki. But it's delicious, it's rich, it's creamy. And you know, if you like tzatziki, this is good for, um, you know, sandwiches, or wraps, or dip. Are so we this all into a blender, that's it. And are we ready for another blender dance? You get a second one. Now, know, where's you, Tom? Like, I had you all ready. <laughs> now, if you're sitting, you can also wave your arms while we're just talking about some movement. Get some movement happening in your bodies. And Betty Ann wants you to know she loves tzatziki too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so refreshing and it really goes on anything. Okay. We got the blender down. Right. 
really green. I think my husband, I think you put too much dill. <laughs> it's a really green to see me. Oh, it's okay. All right. Maybe I could have folded the dill in, perhaps. <laughs> it looks so That's pretty, so though. <laughs> it's a gorgeous color. Look at that, everybody. It is gorgeous. It is. It is really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want to give a shout out to you, vegan chef Susan Pratt, self-made bus businesswoman set on teaching people the health benefits and joy that come from vegan plant-based nutrition and cooking. I think that we may have a cookbook in the future, Miss Susan, but you have a very successful blog. You can head over to her blog and get lots of recipes. We also have been blessed with Susan being in her kitchen another time. So you can also get that recipe and this one over on janeandjane.com, y'all. So beautiful and yummy. Yes, says Betty Ann. Tina says, awesome blender dance. Oh, John says Tom is here. He's driving. So, all right. Yes, we wouldn't be a lunch break out live without Tom Vinsil right. away from Chicago. You're coming to us live from Vancouver. Uh, yes, up in Canada. Yes, I am. I sure am. North Vancouver. All right. So take us to what you do in there. Maybe you can just lift it up. Don't move the camera. We can just lift and see. Okay, sounds good. So, so all I did was I put... I filled the tart with the tzatziki. Now, this would make a beautiful brunch dish, a beautiful, um, have this for dinner, and then it, it's a great lunch um, for the next day or packing your kids' lunch because it has no nuts. My daughter's three and she's just going into school and I'm just really um, focused on making things without nuts. So um, that was on my mind when I made this recipe. And my favorite part comes in decorating it. So that's what makes this look really fancy. Because you saw, this took no time to make. All it took, we, um, what did we do, Paige? We just blended it up in the chickpeas in the food processor, baked it um, for about 30 minutes. We took it out, put the tzatziki in the tart, and now we're going to garnish it. Now, you know I love edible flowers. It's just like a thing. I have a, I love it. I love that you can eat this beautiful, um, I think this is a daisy. So I'm going to garnish the tart with this. And this is um, a snapdragon. You can put that on there. And it looks so fancy with no time at all. You just oh, my goodness. No. Are you growing your own or do you have I a- I am, I am, oh I am. And I'm gonna put some pomegranate seeds on there for a little bit of crunch and some carrot ribbons. These are just, um, I'm trying to hold it up and garnish at the same time here <laughs> for you guys. Um, so carrot ribbons, I just took a um, vegetable peeler and just made a ribbon out of it. And you can make a loop and put it on there too, if you can see. You can see. Can you see that? That is yeah. exquisite. Yes. We're talking <laughs> playing with your food. Yes. You can play with your food, your vegetables, your fruits, your whole foods, plant based. This is incredible. Look at this tart. Wow. I am so blown away. It's a falafel tart with a homemade, the whole thing's homemade, but the yeah. zee, wow, wow, wow. And double, wow, this is exquisite. Incredible. Yes. Wow. Stay tuned. Now, the good news is you can always go back and watch the show. You can go back and get the recipe and then come back and watch the show and cook alongside everybody. But take a look at this beauty. Wow. Incredible. Now, how long do you bake the tart before you can? And then do you need to let it let it kind of sit a little bit before you decorate it? Let it bake uh, for 30 minutes and cool it for maybe five or 10 minutes. Not too long. Not too oh, long at all. This is this is one of the things you can, um, once you know the guests are coming, you can whip it up, throw it in the oven, and it'll be ready by the time they're here. By the time they're here for lunch, and this is great with a salad. Um, 
or a side of, what else would it be good with? I'm just thinking you could also have a nice fruit, uh, like a fruit parfait. You know, if you wanted to have like a little bit of a sweet with this, this looks so savory. Um, I mean, I'm just seeing this as a brunch item. There's just so much we can do with this. It's 100% plant-based gorgeousness. Look at those flowers. Susan, you just don't cease to amaze me. Is that the right way you say it? Um, and <laughs> mom, who's busy, who's able to make these delicious dishes right here for all of us. I'm going to go ahead and put up your blog here because, well, why don't you tell everybody it's called? SusanCooksVegan.com. There I'm it Susan. is. I cook vegan. It's very <laughs> easy to remember. And you can see my past recipe on Jane Unchained. And I'm also booked for a future one. Yes. So you guys can chime in and tell me what you want me to make. Maybe a dessert next time. Ooh, yes, desserts. Yes. And oh, real quick, Betty Ann wants to know, can you freeze the liquid? Can you freeze that and then make it for another day? What are your thoughts on that? You know what? Absolutely. So what you would do is bake the base, cover that, make the tzatziki, and then when the day is ready, put it together, garnish it. Easy peasy. Oh my goodness. Amazing. In fact, Tina wants you to know she's chiming in and would like donuts. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I want donuts too. I know you too. Okay. <laughs> Who doesn't love donuts? All right. Well, you have been working hard there with your biceps holding that big huge platter. <laughs> Betty Ann says, thank you, ladies. Go ahead and write in the chat, everybody. If you have ideas for Susan, please by all means. And we'll have Susan come in here and respond to you all maybe tomorrow or later on tonight. You can head over later on tonight or tomorrow to janeunchain.com for the printable recipe plus thousands of others. And we just want to thank you so much, Susan, for being here, as well as all of you for watching. You all are so committed to making these recipes and watching our shows and we just love you and you've got lots of fans out here by the way shout out to susan tom betty and tina as well as john and jackie and oh i hope i didn't forget anybody if you wrote anything here and all of you all watching out there in facebook land thank you again and youtube and we just appreciate you come back again and uh, watch more shows and we'll be seeing susan before you know it love y'all thanks again enjoy Peace and plants. There it is.